by Deputy Machari. Okay. Thank you, Coherlock. Well, the first thing to say is that we just got this report this morning, so we're still reading through the report. And it's a, it's a seven-page report, and we would not have this report had it not been for an FOI request by an Irish Times journalist. That's the first point, the obvious point to make. Mr Finnegan was before this committee for his first time a number of months ago. I think it was in July of this year, 11th of July. And I asked him very specific questions in relation to one of the broad headings in the appropriation account, which was office equipment and ICT expenditure. And there was an overspend of about nine and a half million euro. And his response at the time was that there was a, a three year cycle. Money had to be spent at the end of that three year cycle. And as you referenced the uh, laptops and there was a contract that was brought forward to replace laptops, which nobody had a difficulty with. <coughs> and he mentioned the printer unit and the 1.3 million euro cost. What he did not mention was all of the other issues that are in this seven page report, including the uh, reference to the lack of understanding and not proper examination in the critical early stages of the project in relation to requirements. And the report essentially says that the uh, initial contract, and I suppose the initial intention was to locate this printer in printer room one, and then that wasn't possible because of sizes um, and because of uh, maybe mistakes in measurements or, or whatever happened. We still don't know. It's not clear from this report. But it's clear mistakes were made. It's clear mistakes were made, but it's not clear in this report who ex exactly made the mistakes. When Mr Finnegan says lack of expertise, exactly what is he talking about? He also says in his report, Coherlock, and when he's given the, the costs, it's VAT inclusive when it comes to the, mach the machine itself, and it's VAT exclusive when it comes to the adaption works that have to be done. So what is the, the total cost? The VAT exclusive works um, of the OPW was approximately... Yeah, but what's the, what's the overall cost here? Look, we have a report which doesn't give us, in simple terms, including VAT, both for the fit-out, the adaptions and the cost of the printer. Yeah, what yeah, is the total cost? For clarification, the, 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 the VAT in relation, or the cost in relation to the printing equipment was 1.369 yes, million. Yes, I have that. The VAT and the, the proposed account for the works to be carried out was 229 and plus the VAT, which I'm saying is 13.5% because it's construction, brings that up to 260,000, which brings the cost, um, excluding the works on the ventilation system, to 1.629 uh, million. Okay. And my point is, none of that was offered up to us when the accounting officer was here. So he says that there was no attempt on his part or anyone else in the houses of the Rockers to withhold any information. Now, I don't think any of us are accusing him of withholding information. But I think when he was here and when he was made aware of and knew about the difficulties in locating the printer in the room that it was intended, that, as he says himself, there was difficulties with in the critical early stages of the project. This is a printer that costs significantly more than it should have, it seems, because mistakes were made. Um, and we know from the FOI request that a memo was sent to uh, the clerk of, of, of the, uh, the Dáil in December of 2018, outlining all of these difficulties and challenges. I'm also aware that the Controller and Auditor General would have been aware of some of the, the issues as well in relation to the, 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 the the problems or challenges in relation to fit-outs. The CNAG knew about the challenges. Mr Finnegan knew. We had a discussion about the accounts. I specifically asked about that broad heading and the printer was mentioned, but we weren't made aware of it. So when he says that there was no lack of candour or that there was no withholding of information, there certainly wasn't the volunteering of information. And if it is the case that we, we may have known about it when we looked at the accounts for, for next year or the year after when the, the fit-out costs were uh, were mentioned. We expect accounting officers to give us all the information, Coherlock. And I don't think it's credible for him to say that that was the case when he appeared before us. I genuinely don't. And he's a civil servant of long standing, someone I have a high regard for. But when accounting officers are here, they need to fully account for all of the issues. And when specific questions are asked in relation to this, was in relation to overspend. So the questions I were asking were quite clear in relation to overspend. I think, at the very least, we should have been made aware of the challenges that were in play here in relation to the additional costs, and we were not. And now we are, and now we have a seven-page report, 
And uh, we, we still, in my view, don't have the full cost. There may be more costs. Um, I, I spoke to some of the staff as well, so there are no HR issues with the staff, let's be very clear about that, there are no HR issues in relation to the operation of this printer. There are training issues. It's a printer that's twice the size of any printer the staff have ever used before. They actually need to use a forklift in a very tight space to load up um, the, uh, the, 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 the paper. It has to be done in, in, in the turn machine that turns the paper first in a forklift, brought in, loaded up, printed one side, forklift brought back out again to a different room and brought back again. And no consultation with the staff, none whatsoever. So they talk about the training hasn't taken place yet. So this was a mess from start to finish, absolute start to finish, if this was a mess that cost us more money. And yet, despite all of that, we weren't informed when the accounting office was here. For me, that's not good enough. And I think Mr Finnegan has to appear before us again to properly account for all of this, because yes, we have his report. It's our job to hold him to account fairly um, and give him the opportunity to respond. He's given his opinion. I'm giving my opinion. Other members of the committee will have their opinion. And my opinion is very clear. This was a mess. He was not as forthcoming as he should have been. And as a member of the Public Accounts Committee, I'm not happy with that. Okay.